Hey, what's good, everybody? Brandon with Taylor's Fire and Smoke Cooking. Welcome back to my channel. Today is another edition of Smacking or Lacking. Today, we are going to review William's Spicy Wings Season Coating Mix. I actually like these little season coating mixes because if you don't know how to season chicken really well or you're just in a pinch and you want to do something quick, you can get some of these packets, throw your chicken in, bake it up or fry it up, and you're good to go. So we're going to see if this one is good. I've done one before, which you can see the video. I'll have it posted up below, uh, above of a seasoning coat that we tried before, which was by, I believe it was a uh, seashore or something to that effect. And it was pretty good. So I'm excited to try this one. This is supposed to be spicy. It's supposed to be very spicy. So hopefully it lives up to what it's claiming to be. And uh, we'll go from there. We're going to do two vi different variations. We're going to do baked, which is that's the very first preparation it has. And then we're also going to put some in the skillet, see if there's a difference in flavor, taste, and uh, uh, whatever the case may be. So y'all stick around. We'll see how it turns out. We'll be right back. All right, guys. So I have about two pounds of wings here. These are jumbo wings. They've been washed and everything already. You can see how big this wing is. It's a massive wing. So that's what we're going to be using. So I'm going to follow the directions verbatim uh, as the way, the way it says to do them. Uh, it's a little odd, but it says, uh, well, first off, we're going to put our seasoning mixture in a container. You can put it in a container or a Ziploc bag. I'm out of Ziplocs at the moment that are, you know, big enough. So we're just going to put the seasoning in a container. Then it says to dip the chicken in milk or buttermilk. Now, buttermilk, that makes sense. Regular milk, it really doesn't, but that's actually all I have at the house right now, so we're going to do what it says. It says to dip it in regular milk. Then we're going to put them on a foil lined uh, baking sheet. I do have my oven preheating up to 400 degrees. That's the uh, temperature that it calls for to cook them off at 400 degrees for 30 to 40 minutes. <coughs> Excuse me. The seasoning making me sneeze. So maybe it does have a little heat in it. Go ahead and put the lid on and shake it up. I'm excited to see how it turns out, how it tastes. I love these little seasoning packets, like I said, just for convenience and just something new to try. All righty. See how it looks. And on to the baking sheet it goes. See, I am going to bake them and I'm going to fry some. So we can see, you know, what the difference is, if there's a big difference in the other. All right, folks. So we've got our wings all breaded and on our uh, baking sheet. We are going to spray the tops of them with a little bit of cooking oil. But you can see how thin that layer of uh, seasoning is on it. So I'm pretty interested to see how they turn out, if they turn out crispy, uh, what kind of flavor they're going to carry. So I'm excited about it. Uh, the oven's at 400 degrees, like I said. It says to cook them for 30 to 40 minutes on a lower rack. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and put them on in the oven and we'll get started on our fried wings. All right, we've got our oil heated up. Got it on a medium high and we're just going to fry off the rest of them. I already have them coated. You can see how they look and we're just going to go into this hot grease. Like I said, some of these wings are just humongous. These are some of the wings I get, you know, that I sell and they're just gigantic wings. So I didn't want to bake those along with some of the smaller flats so we're just going to fry these ones off all right i've got all the pieces of chicken in now and we're just going to fry them up until they're golden brown and delicious uh, it's probably got another 30 minutes or so on the bake one so these probably will come out a little sooner but that's quite all right when they're done we'll bring you guys back in and uh, we'll see how they're tasting all right, we've had this chicken rolling for several minutes now. It's time to flip. You can see how it has a nice golden brown color to it. And the skin is nice and crispy. So even though that breading seemed like it was on there fairly light, that uh, definitely fries up with a nice coat on it. Smells good, too. Real good. So I'm just going to flip it over, guys, and just continue to let it go. 
right, y'all, that's the finished look on our fried wings. They have a really nice color to them. They're really, really crispy. Uh, they would appear that they have a little kick to them, but we're going to see. So y'all stay tuned. All right, we've had our baked wings going for about 25 minutes now. So I'm just gonna do is just pull them out and uh, flip them over. Again, these have a pretty nice color on them too. Not nearly as heavy as the fried ones, but that's to be expected. Uh, let's go ahead and flip them. Now they're sticking a little bit, which I'm not uh, happy about. But hey, you know, it kind of is what it is. Now the undersides of them have a nice little crisp and color to them. So we're gonna flip them over, give them another spray and uh, put them on back in there and let them finish up. All right, now here are our fried wings and these are our baked wings. They both look good. You could definitely tell the difference in color. Let's taste. All right, guys, we're back. We got our wings done. These are the baked ones. A lot lighter coating, a lot lighter color. And then these are the ones we fried. Like I said, I did mostly of the, most of the drums frying them. They were so much bigger and thicker than the flats. I didn't want to try to bake them all at the same time. I did have some drums that were a little bit smaller that I did bake up, but for the majority of the ones we baked were the flats. But let's go ahead and get into them. I'm going to start with the baked ones first and see how they taste. I am a flats person. I prefer flats, so you can see how that looks. It has a nice color to it. it smells really good. Okay, well, first impression is the flavor falls a little flat. Now, it does have a nice little subtle heat to it. It's not hot, but it has a nice little subtle heat in the background, which is nice. But as far as the seasoning and the flavor, it's a little on the flat side. Um, let's go ahead and get into the, one of these fried ones and see if there's any difference. I doubt it, but we'll see anyhow. You can see it has a lot darker color. A lot thicker crust. Nice and crispy. They fried up really nice. But, again... The flavor is just not there. Now, ironically, the ones we baked, the heat is a little bit more pronounced than that one. I guess maybe some of the, it must have washed off or something in the grease. I don't know. But as far as the seasoning and the flavor, they're about the same. But the baked one does have a little bit more heat. But, you know, I, I've told you before that I like these because normally they're seasoned pretty good. You just coat them up, fry them, or coat them up, bake them, and you're good to go. Unfortunately, this one is lacking. Um, I wouldn't say they're nasty, but when your expect my expectation was a certain way, especially after we tried the last ones we did, which was uh, by Shore Lunch, that was the name, and they were they were delicious. They were really good. So I was kind of expecting the same thing with this particular one, just with a little bit more heat. It did not deliver on the flavor. So unfortunately, guys, this one here is lacking. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share the video out, make sure you hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when we have more videos coming up. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoy. Till the next time, God bless, and we will see you around.